everybody. Thanks for joining us here today. This is Nicole Pascal with Topaz, and today's Quick Tip Thursday session is about adding custom tone for a specialized look using Topaz lens effects. Every photographer wants their imagery to stand out and feel unique. Adding customized tone is one way to get a specialized look to your image. So today we're gonna to show you how to create and then apply custom tone using Topaz lens effects and the various ways of toning that is available or that are available within that program. So this is the image we're going to be working on here today. This is um, just uh, walking around Panama City and take, this is uh, one of the beaches, uh, beach shots that I took. Um, let's see here, I'll show you where we started out and kind of give you, um, the very beginning image so you get to see it and actually this isn't even the beginning this was a raw image so let me go into bridge here we go that is our original raw image that I took through camera raw and after the conversion it was brought into Photoshop as my background layer and this is what we started off with at that point I just um, removed some of the spots and then I took it through Topaz Clarity for the pop that I wanted, a very natural pop. And then I got to my toning point of the workflow. Lens Effects has become a staple in my workflow for the uh, different types of tone that you can achieve uh, there. It does it in a very logical way and um, it's easy to understand and you can apply it in several different regions differently and get some really cool effects. So I applied lens effects, my own preset at 50% opacity. At that point, I made a stamp layer, just adjusted my levels quite a little bit to get a more washed out type of look. And that was my final uh, result. So I'm just gonna come down to this clarity layer, make a quick copy by pressing Control J, it's Command J on the Mac, and going, gonna go to Filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Lens Effects. All right, here we are in Topaz Lens Effects. Now, if you're unfamiliar with um, the kind of direction of Topaz Lens Effects or what it does, it simulates basically um, realistic or filters that you can use on your camera, different types of cameras themselves, different types of lenses, different types of, of bokeh or blur that you can achieve with um, different types of lenses. So it's all about simulating realistic uh, camera accessories that you can usually get during the time you shoot, but if you don't have the equipment or if you forget to um, use it, you can come in real quick. Let's say graduated neutral density filter. I can just do top half two stops, quickly apply a preset such as this and simulate the look that you would be able to get with that neutral density filter. So with our filters, we have several different toning capabilities in here. We have our single tone, which will apply one tone to the whole image. We also have a um, dual tone, which is why I choose lens effects versus other programs to add tone, because I can add it in two different regions. So here you see this is a cool to warm preset cool to warm one, here's cool to warm two, it's a little bit stronger so you see it. it's cool on the top and warm on the bottom. So those are really nice, um, nice features within the dual tone. And I love some of the presets as well, it's a great starting point for me. So that's why I use this program. So let's go down to the single tone because this is gonna be the easiest one to kind of show you how our toning works within this program. Down below, the presets will change every time you change your effect and you'll see we have a lot of presets for you to start off with. We have cool tones, which are just gonna add a little bit of a cool tone. All different types of toning ability here very quickly. One of my favorite presets is the Old School Haze 1 and Old School Haze 2. They kind of give me a washed out look with some blue undertones and it's just, I, I really like this, um, these, this to start off with. And I wanted to get a tone on my image that I could apply to the whole set of imagery that I, or all the pictures that I'm editing from the Panama trip um, and kind of get a unique specialized look for this group of images. So what I did was come into lens effects and create a preset that I then applied to the whole group of images as I continue to edit them. But Old School Haze 1 is where I started to get inspired and it really kind of looked like how the day felt. It was very kind of a heavy 
atmosphere. So a, little, a wet atmosphere, uh, very humid and kind of a little bit hazy, even though it looks really clear. Um, so I wanted to kind of get that a warm, warm highlights, maybe some cooler undertones. So old school haze one is where I started within lens effects to change and customize your tone. Just go over to the color tone adjustments and click on that module and it will pull down six cast sliders for you. We break it down into six different color casts, cyan, red, magenta, green, yellow, and blue. And you can just add or subtract the cast that you want. So if I want to maybe um, take my green down or up just a little bit, I can move it to the right and I'll start adding more green into that tone. And let's say I wanna get rid of that cyan. I'm gonna go ahead and take that to the left. Okay, there we go. I'm liking that better. It's not so, um, heavy of a tone this way. I'll leave a little bit of cyan in, but you can see how easily and how um, quickly you can add and customize this tone and get something that really works for your images. Now with um, applying it to a set of images, if you come down here to the lower left, you can save it as a preset just by clicking save, which will bring up a save preset dialog box. You can name it which you would like. So let's say Panama water test and created by what it might be good for some keywords for it if you'd like press ok and now i have my panama water preset in here that i can come in and apply whenever i want to and put it in action or uh, apply it to a set of images now one thing to know about the type of tone that is happening here it's actually kind of uh, simulating what a color tone filter would look like on your actual lens. So sometimes it starts to mess with your levels a little bit that you've already um, worked with. Your highlights might start to get a little washed out. And if you want to come in and adjust your tones a little bit more, just come in down into image adjustments and you'll see you have brightness, contrast, and saturation. So I can easily get some a little bit more contrast coming in and saturation and get the exact look that I'm after. Now I do wanna show you really quickly, I wanna show you that dual tone. So dual tone, again, we have um, the same type of uh, image adjustments, but it's broken down into region A and region B. So whenever you bring that down, you'll see your region A adjustments, your region B color casts. You can come down just to do regular brightness, contrast, saturation, and then you get to, at the top, your transition adjustments. Um, if you take your transition down, you'll see the exact line where the transition is for the two regions. So, um, and then you can come in and change the size to fit your image. So maybe let's do a, a tone on my sky and one on the foreground here. You can change your angle if you'd like, but uh, of the actual region, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's go take my transition a little bit up now that I've specified where I want the transition to occur. Region A which is gonna be my top region. Maybe I wanna add a little bit more green in there and some yellow. Yeah, that's nice. And then down in my bottom, region B area, maybe take out a little bit of that red and also add a touch of green, a little bit more yellow than the sky. And there we have it. Here's before and after I have a dual tone on my image now that really lets me customize it exactly the way I want in a quick way. So I hope that uh, gives you some ideas and inspiration on adding custom tone to your images using Topaz lens effects. Within Bridge, let me just grab my uh, Dropbox here and go to my Panama pics. And here, just, just to give you an idea, here's that uh, final image that we just worked on. When you apply it to several types of images, you start to create a unique look that says, okay, these are my pics from the Panama trip. Um, I created this specific filter for these. And this is the type of look I wanted to get for these. And it's an easy way to kind of get a cohesive group and cohesive look to a group of images by applying that tone. All right, have a great rest of the week and weekend, and we will see you next week. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.